I'm not particularly shy in any other situation. Yet, when it came to girls, I just somehow shut down. I, I, I must have just searched, you know, shyness, love, and then eventually just stumbled across the farm. The forum he stumbled upon was INCEL, short for Involuntary Celibate, the online community that he claims started as a place for love-shy and romantically challenged individuals. Initially, it was non-gender specific, with even women being members. But over time, splinter groups evolved, taking on dangerous and misogynistic overtones. They would not even call rape a crime. They would not even call... Um, it's almost like how some people might say, you can't rape your wife because your wife is property. They actually would just say, yeah, it's, um, you know, it's my object, I can do whatever I want. Under a cloak of anonymity, the former administrator of an offshoot site called Love Shy is breaking his silence on what life was like inside this secret group. He doesn't want to be identified for fear of retribution, but he says he was an active member for almost 20 years, engaging with incel from as young as eight. You know, you go to school, you socialize, and then you come home and you can socialize again. And uh, it was nice. And also, it was also very different than playing like games, which were already um, kind of made and artificial. You could talk to real people and you don't really know what to expect. Most people have never heard of Intel until last month's van attack in Toronto. Alex Manason stated his allegiance to them in a post on Facebook before he allegedly ran down pedestrians, killing 10 people. Toronto police have not called it an act of terrorism, but according to one security expert, there is still cause for concern. It is a group of uh, very unhappy, disaffected people who have found commonality on the internet and you know, self-radicalization. The former member says he's no longer involved in any of the groups, but he makes a stark warning that this may not be the end of incel-related attacks, with new groups emerging every day. At the most extreme with this co-alpha, which is really just extreme incel, that, you know, they don't believe in rape, they don't believe in... Actually, yeah, they don't even believe in murder. They, it's truly an othering effect. There's always a concern because of the copycat effect, right? You get a lot of... Uh, unhappy, disaffected people on a website, they start to tick each other off. And there's a strong mis misogynistic element in there that might find other reasons to go after women, for example. The former administrator is now in a healthy relationship, and while he says he now has nothing in common with the group, at the time, it was all he had. Consider how in prison, solitary confinement is punishment. And imagine how, even in prison, even when you're surrounded by rapists and murderers and killers and pedophiles, being alone is punishment. And so, as bad as it is, it's almost worse to be alone. Tom Walsh, City News.